Is Bobby Jones coming back? Let's have that conversation. Welcome to another edition of Out and Around with Mike, 2022 style. My name is Mike Rennick. I am your host for this video. Well, Bobby Jones isn't coming back, but the golf course is. Let me tell you a little bit more. Right now, the golf course is, uh, the, the work they're doing on it, they plan to open this fall. Let me deviate for just a second from the plan script and share this. One of the many reasons I like living on Florida's West Coast is the way we protect our assets, we redevelop our assets, and we do great things for the community. This is a, another good example as this golf course is being modernized, it's being redone, it's being rebuilt, and they plan to open it this fall. It's another great attribute for Sarasota here. So the 18.8 million project is funded by city bonds. It's going to include when it opens a nine hole adjustable par three course. They also in addition plan to pursue, preserve 153 of the 261 acres for a public park. There'll be a variety of green space. There'll be uses for wetlands, for conservations, things like that. So the local funding match for this, it's about $3 million grant has been earmarked. There's a 1.06 million um, bond from the Bobby Jones project that will also help fund this and 450,000 approximately from the one cent sales tax fund to build the uh, wetlands area I talked about. So the, uh, the reason they're doing more than the golf course is the wetlands will also help improve, um, improve the water quality discharging system here in Sarasota. So the golf course redesign is overseen by Richard Mandel. He was a golf architect. Let's go back a little bit and talk about the history of this great course. So the opening of the course was in 1926. It was named the Sarasota Municipal Golf Course. Um, it was renamed in honor of Jones, who was a star amateur athlete at the time, way back in 1927. The facility evolved over time and over the decades to include a 6,000 yard acre course and a 6,700 yard British course, all combined into one here. The original Donald Ross layout followed the path of the back nines to the two courses. So as far back as 2015, city leaders began discussing what we could do with this property here to make it uh, world-class again. So looking back, reaching a high of 164,000 rounds in 1997, play had fallen to about 143,000 in 2007, and then 102,000 in 2013. Ultimately, the pandemic got this course and it closed in March of 2020. It's another sad case of, of what's happened here because of the pandemic that we're now moving forward. But since then, the course has been um, overtaken um, by nature, um, growing weeds and things like that. The clubhouse was demolished, but as we move forward, this is going to be a world-class facility again. I'm proud to be able to share this with you. We'll come back as progress is made. I'd like to hear your thoughts. There's a link below to my blog. Are you a thumbs up or are you a thumbs down? Again, my name is Mike Rennick. My personal, my direct cell, please feel free to reach out is 941-400-8735. Thanks everyone.